YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mike. I'm gonna change things up on my diet today. I'm gonna, I've eaten this morning because I'm gonna start taking my krill oil in the morning, my double dose of vitamin C, my blood pressure medication, which I hate taking on an empty stomach, by the way. And I hate taking vitamin C on an empty stomach. Yeah. Stuff like that, I'm just thinking, sorry. Uh, so, I did a multiple layer of snacks. Uh, as healthy as possible and I'm gonna see if I could go the day because usually when I go in the if I don't eat in the morning and go right through the night I could actually intermittent fast easily but they say it's really hard if you have breakfast to intermittent fast for the rest of the day but I did take my vitamin C I did take all my stuff my krill so I'm kind of mathematically thinking this out in my head um what makes sense to do. Um, I'm going to give this a try. I'm not hungry now. I'm full. I feel great. And uh, as the food dissolves with my daily intake of supplement nutrients, you know, um, yeah. You know, I got a friend, uh, Hiroshi, you guys know him from the channel. He's been sending me a lot of links to this website in the United States that has some really, really, really good... Um, probiotics and all kinds of stuff um, to take and good vitamin C supplements, um, good B12 supplements, and not that stuff you buy off the shelf that doesn't have any, any uh, potency in it, right? The problem with vitamin B12, it works better, in my opinion, with the B12 strips. You put them under your tongue, you let them dissolve, it gets a little bit better into your blood. It, it circulates a bit better. I don't recommend doing it um, uh, B12 through capsule form because uh, I think B12, I'm not a doctor, but I think B12 dissolves in your lower intestine or it gets absorbed through the lower intestine. So I feel, in my opinion of opinions, that none of it gets into your, none of it get, B12 gets into you, right? So I'm thinking that... Uh, the strips are better. So I'm going to pick up... I've been taking the uh, the chewable tablets. But I'm not too sure about those, you know. Well, again, they're over-the-counter crap. It's stuff you buy, like, at a Walmart and stuff. So I, I got to start... The krill oil is expensive. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like 40 bucks a bottle for 30 pills. So the krill oil is... It, it's got to be the krill 1000... The, the, the good one. The cardiovascular one I'm taking... But we'll see what happens. I'm going to see if I could uh, do uh, uh, occasional morning breakfasts, like today morning, and then tomorrow I could do night, and then I could have this extended fasting period, right? So I, I ate this morning, and then I don't eat till tomorrow at 6. That's crazy. But it's good for the, it, it is at times good for the body. Don't listen to me, guys. I ain't a doctor. Don't listen to what I tell you to do. Don't listen to anything, guys. I'm just giving you guys just ideas of things that I'm working on with dieting and stuff, you know? Like, and, and, uh, uh dieting to lose weight. Because dieting could also mean what you eat in a daily basis, right? It doesn't mean you're, you're, you're eating healthier or better, right? But yeah, that's what I'm going to be up to. Today I'm going to play some, some, Salsa music in the shop. Get some music going, nice and loud. It's 14 degrees Celsius centigrade outside. It's nice and warm. I could open my door. It is kind of rainy, but it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get sunny later today, around four o'clock, three o'clock. So we're gonna get a bit of sun today. Kind of excited for that. What else? That's that's pretty much about it. I'm gonna grab my coffee now. Morning coffee with Mike. Mike Martins, coffee time, baby. 
Mike Martins. I've been getting people visiting me at the store pretty much almost every single day. People have been coming by to see me. And that means a lot that people are taking their time to come by and see me at the shop. Yep. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful Friday. It's a weekend for most people. I guess it's just mostly government job people get the weekends off. And uh, back in the day, everybody, I, I remember when it was prohibited to open on Sundays. I don't know what cities still do that. Um, I, I know that there's some places still that they, nobody opens on, the, on the, the day of the Lord on Sunday. I, I, I don't know uh, who opens. Because I remember when I was a kid, if a store was open on Sunday, they'd get fined. Big time. They go to court and they get fined. Big time. How's that from? Extra large dark roast coffee with one cream. And that's everything? That is it. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Yep. I notice when I eat in the morning like this, I, I feel a little bit tired. But once that vitamin C starts, I have this big vitamin C. Big. Once that vitamin C starts to break apart, you start feeling it. You start jumping off the walls. Krill oil, you don't feel too much effect off. It's more of a um, kind of a booster juice to keep you alive, you know, keep your cardiovascular pumping right. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna see if I can go the day without eating. Maybe I'll just do breakfast tomorrow. If not, then I'll have dinner tomorrow. And if I can push it that far. I'll keep you guys updated on that problem. Oh, oh God, I gotta wake up. Well, this lady ahead of me is ordering a buffet feast. Yeah. Hola. Hello, sir. Good how morning. How are you, my brother? Good. You having a happy Friday? Yep. <laughs> happy Friday, buddy. Thanks, See you me. soon. Bye. My son's play screwdriver here. Ah, oh, it's a great day. It's a beautiful day. Enjoying this day and I'm enjoying the rest of the weekend. Gonna do stuff with my family. It's the weekend. Ah, I got some. Still work being done at the house so I got all the flooring done in those areas that I showed you guys in that video I got the flooring done then I'm gonna get the, the baseboards done this week and the stairs of the entrance of the house are garbage are covered in dirty carpet so we're gonna put some nice hardwood I got hardwood like proper hardwood with a nice with a nice overhang on it to make the stair look nice we're gonna sand it and varnish it what else are we gonna do um, yeah, we're going to do that. Then we're going to do the kitchen upstairs. We're going to do the flooring there because the flooring is this vinyl laminate, like fake tiles, like fake ceramic tiles. So then we could lay some, um, a nice underlay, a nice thick one with a nice thick wood with the other underlay. So I doubled up. Oh man, downstairs is nice. You even feel, you even feel like it more echoey because it's more closed off. Then we're getting our front door installed, which I had in the garage from last year. So I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of things to do. So <sighs> a lot of work to do. Lots of um, planning and and uh, just organizing and <sighs> oh my god, I gotta stop yawning. Yep, yep. So somebody, somebody, I don't know, recently in the last couple of days has been creating fake YouTube accounts to trash me in the comment section. I just block them from the channel. Goodbye. Make another, make another channel. Make a, there's going to come a time, just like everything we talked about, where people are going to see how many accounts they've made on what accounts. It's going to be all transparent one day. 
you're going to see one day people will start finding out who is who and what is what. Especially the uh, the guy that's been stalking me here in town. I keep getting the finger from him every time he sees me. My wife keeps getting the finger from him every time he, he sees her. It doesn't matter. She's with the kids and stuff. He still does it. He doesn't, he doesn't care. I'll leave a link after this video to the Merit Harassment Series. Watch the Merit Harassment Series. For uh, just... Just op opening a shop in town has been such a big problem, you know? What a beautiful day it's going to be. I can feel it. You can feel it in the air, you know? Hope is everywhere. Everyone's calling me the doom and gloom real estate guy. I'm like, uh, no, I've been doom and gloom real estate. You should have listened to me up until four years ago so you wouldn't be in the position you're, oh, Mike, but I'm already up $400,000 still, even though it's gone down. Okay, sell it for that price. Let me know. I have people in the comment section saying they sold at a loss. They're down. Oh, I'm still up $400,000. Oh, oh, Merry Christmas. Well, it's springtime. Let's see what's going to happen in the real estate markets. Apparently, Toronto's in an uptick. Woo! Well, the first the first time home buyer loan is going to get a, get a little a little nudge in the right direction for for the uh, homeowners. But you're going to start seeing things falling. It's just, just out of if they have the government has to issue you a loan to help you buy your first house, then we got problems here. And especially because first time buyers can't get in. That's why they make up these first-time buyer loans, because they need the fresh blood in the market. They ain't getting the fresh blood. Because no one can do for it to get in. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would like to know. Wow, it's already 11 o'clock. I'm going to open my shop. And, uh, yeah, go from there and have a... You guys, have a great day. Let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, watch these videos around me. They're really good series.